In this video, I'm going to show you how to use iMovie to edit your YouTube videos. This tutorial will be super beginner friendly with all the basics you need to know and with a few tips and tricks along the way. So let's get started. I'm using version 10.3.3. So when you open up iMovie, you're going to see two tabs at the top here, media and projects. Click on projects and click on create new right over here and select movie. So the first thing I want to mention is that as you are editing your video, it does auto save. So you don't have to worry about manually saving. This is your media library. This is where you're gonna drag in all of your videos, images, music, and sound effects that you're going to use. So you can either click on this button to import media or you can just drag it from a folder. So I'm actually just going to drag and drop all of my media. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now you'll notice that there's a preview window right over here. So if I hover over anything within the media library, you'll see the preview here. And when I drag media down to the timeline, so this is your timeline, this is exactly where we're going to edit the video. You can also preview it on the right hand side here. Now, first thing I want to do is actually zoom in to this video. So right over here under settings, I'm going to zoom in to about there. And it's nice because you can actually see the volume changes and kind of see where it goes quiet and spots that you can just start to split clips. The first thing I want to show you is how to delete clips that you don't want. So I can play this and just kind of like let it play out and see what's how it's looking. I can uh, pause it and play, or I can just press the space bar on my keyboard to pause and play. So that's kind of a, a shortcut. Now, if I want to split a clip, so I can literally just hover over anywhere and click on this section right here, and maybe I want to remove the beginning there, I can right click and go split clip and I can just delete that part. Now what I can also do is let's say I want to remove this section here where there's no sound. You can see that with the volume. I can either right click and split clip or I can go Command B and it will clip it right there for me. So I could do that again, Command B and now I can just remove that section. Okay, now let's say I want to zoom in and out and just create some pattern interruptions. So I can split this clip and let's just clip this section. Now, if I want to maybe zoom in, I can go up to the top here and select this cropping tool. And I could go to crop to fill and I can just zoom in just like that. And I'll click on this check mark and just to show you what it looks like, just kind of zooms in just like that. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is audio and video. It's kind of nice because iMovie does have some built in sound effects that you can use. So let's say if I wanted to use this sound effect, I can just drag it down here and down here is where your music and sound effects is going to go. You can use music and sound effects from the free audio library that comes with YouTube, or you can also go to Epidemic Sound. There is a monthly subscription fee, but you can also start their 30 day free trial and download some sound effects and music, and then you can cancel at any time. Okay, now let's say I want to add in some text. So I'm gonna to go to titles at the top here, and there's many versions of this. You can kind of play around to see what they all look like. I tend to add in text using Canva, so I can provide a fully separate tutorial on just that. Let me know if you'd like to see that. But let's just say I want to use this one. So I'm going to double click and it automatically shows up here. And you can see the duration of it, it's four seconds. So I can either drag it to make it longer or shorter if I want to. And I can just drag this around anywhere I want it to show up in the video. So let's say I want it right here. So again, I'm gonna double click and I'm going to just edit what it says. So I'm just going to type in iMovie tutorial and I can change the font by going up to here. I can change the size if I want to and just kind of play around with that a little bit. Okay, so let me just show you what that looks like. Okay, all right, so that's titles. The next thing I wanna show you is transitions. So this is just when you want a different transition between clips. So let's say I want it to slide left. So I'm going to select this clip and I'm going to select slide left. So let me just show you what that looks like. Okay, so you'll actually see these little markers that show up before and after because the transition happens at the beginning and at the end of this clip. But let's say you just wanted to show up in the beginning, you can actually just select it and delete it. Now, if you want to edit what the clip looks like, you can go up to the top to clip filter 
And if you select it, there are many options. I could flip the clip, I could make it black and white if I want to, and you could just play around with all of these different options here. Okay, so let's go back to media. If I want to bring in a stock video or a stock photo or just some B-roll that I've recorded, I can drag it down to the timeline just like I did with my sound effect and my video. In case you're wondering where to get stock images and stock videos to use for free in your YouTube videos, I personally use pexels.com. Okay, so the few items that I'm using today in my media library, I actually got from here. Now I can either put it into the timeline this way, or I could drag it up to the top here as kind of like B-roll. Now I can change the duration of this. I don't have to make it for 12.5 seconds. I can kind of just choose uh, for it to be shorter. I can also speed this up if I want to, if I want her to be typing faster. So if I go up to the top here to speed, I can change this to fast and I can change how much faster I want it to go. So let's say I want it to go two times, then it's just going to look like she's typing much faster. Okay, so now I want to drag in a stock photo. So let's say I'm talking about my office space or something like that, and I'm just going to drag it at the top here. Now you'll notice that the default crop feature is zooming in. So let me just show you what I mean by that. I'm going to go to this cropping tool and right now it's under Ken Burns. Okay. So you can select crop to fill and make this smaller. If you want to, you can go to fit. So I want to show you how to use Ken Burns. You'll see markings for start and end. So let's say I want it to start right here at the top and then I'm going to move end maybe to here where it's going to zoom in to the laptop. Okay. So let me just show you what that looks like now. Okay, so now let's go over the overlay settings. So that's this right here. Right now it's under cutaway, but if I want it to actually show up beside me instead, I can split the screen and the laptop will just show up in the picture beside me. And I can also play with the cropping tool again and just kind of have it cropped. And let's say I want it to go closer to my laptop and it'll just kind of look like that if you want to split the screen. Now to show you another overlay setting, I'm gonna go actually to the very end here because I point at something because I know I want something to show up. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm about to point, right? So let's say I'm talking about a free guide that I offer. So that's what this is. This is a, another image that I've dragged in. Now let's go to crop and let's go to fit. Okay, so now it's just showing up on the top, but I'm actually gonna go to the overlay settings, and this time I'm gonna go to picture in picture. So it shows up at the top here, very small, so I'm gonna drag it and bring it just over here, and let's just see where I'm pointing. So let's play that again. And also, you'll notice that kind of it kind of dissolved in, so it's under 0 0.5 second dissolve, so I'm just gonna go zero, and then I'm just gonna let that play. Okay. That looks good to me. Now, usually I do include soft music in the background of my videos. So this is a piece that I downloaded from the free audio library in YouTube. So I'm gonna drag it down here. And what I do is I actually adjust the volume for this. So you'll notice these lines to adjust the volume for all your clips. Now I'm going to adjust this down to, I usually go between three and 5%. So I'll go 4%. And I'll just copy this because this is only a three minute music piece. So I'll just copy and paste it all the way through. So I would um, copy and paste it here. And then I'm just gonna bring it back all the way to just reaching the end of my video. Okay, just like that. And then you'll also see these little markers right here, these little like balls. <laughs> so you can just drag this to the right if you want it to start off uh, with no music and then just like kind of gradually it will go up to the 4%. The other thing too is you can adjust the volume by going up and down or you can go up to the top here to the volume and you can also uh, bring it up and down for each clip if you'd like. The other feature I absolutely love is the noise reduction feature right over here. So if you notice that there's some background noise in your video, you can select reduce background and then go all the way up to 100%. And it pretty much removes all or most of the background noise. Okay, so the last tip I wanted to show you before I save this file is 
For all your YouTube videos, you do want to encourage people to like your video, subscribe, and click the bell, right? So this video I actually got from Pexels, and you can find many clips like this on Pexels and Pixabay. Now, of course, it has a green screen, right? So if I want to remove that green screen, I'm just gonna go to the top here under overlay settings, and I'm going to select green, blue screen. So let's just see what that looks like. And this one is also really nice because it does actually come with sound effects. You might not be able to hear it just because I have the volume down on it, but it does come with the clicking and bell sound effect. So that's really nice. Okay, so let's say I'm really happy with my video and I just want to save it now. So I'm gonna go to file, share, click on file, and I'm going to just keep the name as My Movie 5. I'll just change it after I've saved it. And usually I will keep the resolution to 1080p and I will go next and I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. Okay, so it usually takes about a few minutes to export your file. Now to see the progress of it, you can just go to the circle right here. This is gonna show you the progress. And if you click on it, it's going to show you uh, roughly how many minutes it's going to take. So right here, it's showing me that it's about two minutes or three minutes um, to export my entire file. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful and you have a good idea of all the iMovie basics. Let me know if you have any questions below. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful and what else you would like me to cover in future tutorials. Make sure to grab my free four-step YouTube growth blueprint. I will link that for you in the description box below. Now, if you want my tips on how to record your YouTube videos using just your phone, head over to this video next and I will see you there.